Hello everybody, how are you all? So we are meeting over here uh, to discuss the NEET paper, NEET 2022, which has been conducted recently uh, this last week on Sunday. And uh, we are going to discuss, like we got feedback from many of you guys about uh, the issues that also you faced actually. Some of you find found the paper easy, some you found difficult. Maybe for some chemistry was difficult, for some physics was difficult because it uh, depends what subject you are strong in, which one you are weak in. But otherwise, the major issue that people have actually reported is the confusion about Gulf paper and the uh, Indian paper, they being different. So in this video, guys, we are going to discuss uh, in detail uh, what the difference in the neat paper, uh, neat paper of Gulf and the Indian uh, was, the, uh, the two quotes that were uh, given to the students. Some of us think maybe Gulf was a little bit difficult as, as, as we have come to know about from some uh, sources. So here we are going to discuss in detail what the differences are and also going to see how this difficulty level overall of this NEET paper is compared to uh, years before this. So that uh, we can get an idea and those who have uh, given this uh, NEET exam this week for them, it's going to help them analyze uh, how difficult this paper was or easy was compared to Gulf or for Gulf, how would compare it. But even for those who are appearing in NEET next year or preparing for it to appear in it two years from now, you guys will also get a basic idea. Uh, which topics are uh, important, which topics are difficult to, uh, like how should we actually prioritize these concepts, which one should we focus more on in the beginning, which one should we focus less on. Of course, we should focus on everything, but here we are going to discuss uh, weightage wise, which one has more importance. So if given an opportunity of limited time, then what topics will focus on these all things we are going to study over, we are going to discuss over here. So in this session, we, are, we already have the discussion of biology, uh, earlier with uh, Anjali ma'am, the biology faculty. But here we're going to have the analysis of uh, physics, which will be given by me. And as you can see, the chemistry discussion will be done by Anik sir, who will be here shortly. So guys, as I mentioned, uh, here uh, NEET was conducted on 17th July, 2022. And uh, the confusion was, which one was tougher? Was it the Indian attempt or was it the Gulf attempt? And overall, what the paper's analysis is, we are going to discuss everything over here. So let us start with it. So guys, first we are going to start with the paper pattern. So you guys know the paper pattern was 35 questions in physics in section A, then 15 questions in section B. We had to attempt some of the questions from over there. Sorry, 10 questions from there. In chemistry also 35, 10, biology 35, 15, zoology 35, 50. So this is how most of the distribution was. And now we are going to see what the analysis of physics section of that part is. So anyways, uh, let me remind today, uh, this 10th and 12th board results are out and Ask ITNs has given tremendously good results this year uh, from 10th grade also, 12th grade also, many students have got full in grade uh, 10th maths and science and uh, exceptionally good scores. So many students have got above 95 percentage in 12th boards also. So we're going to see all these, we're going to see all uh, the results that we have uh, over here. And uh, soon it will be out on the social media platform also. And here also I'm going to share with you some of those results. So let us start now with the physics analysis. So guys, as you can see over here, this is the analysis of the physics part of it. And as you guys can see, according to me, Indian difficulty level, Indian papers difficulty level and Gulf papers difficulty level is almost the same. I found out of all the questions, out of all the 50 questions, there were 29 question, easy questions in both of them, medium 18 questions and difficult three questions in each of them. So as you can see, overall, the paper was just like every year it is, uh, most of it is comprising of the easy section, easy level questions, 58% of it. India also, Gulf also, medium also, 36%, which is mostly the pattern. This time, I think difficult questions were a bit less. So there could be two reasons for it. One is they wanted to make it a bit easier because uh, they wanted the students also to uh, have a little bit extra because you know, like this time, 50 questions were there out of which 45 you had to attempt in physics. So there it takes a little extra time to read all those questions also. Although NEET had given 20 minutes extra, but probably that was not sufficient. So they decreased the uh, level of the questions a little bit and they have included just three difficult questions in each of these attempts. So that is what we see this time, a little lesser number of difficult questions in physics. Biology has already been discussed with you. Chemistry will be discussed by NXR, but this is the major distribution for physics. So it's a good thing for us because most of us were preparing for NEET, even if you are in grade 11th right now, even if you are in 12th right now, 
uh, you might find physics to be the major uh, turnstone over here. So if you are able to, if you are a little, little weak in physics, then in that case, guys, this paper was for you because here easy questions were there. You might just be able to crack them. So we are also going to see what uh, the chapter wise distribution was. So for that, uh, let's move to this chapter wise distribution. Uh, so as you can see, guys, this is first of all for the Indian uh, attempt. In the Indian paper, guys, uh, here I have plotted the number of questions that are asked from every chapter against those chapters. So it's in the decreasing order. You can see maximum number of questions were asked from current electricity topic and magnetic effects of electric current. So 12th grade concepts, I would say, has the had the highest wages this time. It's not it's not even an even distribution of 50 50. I think there was uh, it was more on 12th concepts, which again makes it a bit easier because uh, 12th grade concepts you were recently fresh with because you recently studied it. So if you would see here also current electricity with highest number of questions, magnetic effects of electric current, then on the third number is unit dimensional and others, which is a great 11th concept, which we underestimate a lot. Like that is true. Many people underestimate uh, units and dimensions a lot, but that is not the case over here. It is, a, it turned out to be a very important concept because three questions were asked out of 45 that you had to attempt. Then again, 12th grade concept, electric potential and capacitance, nuclear physics, uh, ray optics, and then 11th concept, kinetic theory of gases, but then again, semiconductor. So overall we can see 12th had the most weightage in them. So we can uh, check when, when an excerpt server also present uh, the chemistry analysis for you guys, we will see how it turned out to be in chemistry, which one had more weightage 11th or 12th, but at least at the first glance, it seems like 12th was the one that we should actually prepare for. And this pattern, similar pattern was seen uh, last to last year also. So 12th, those who had prepared a bit less for physics, maybe this, uh, they had a little bit advantage. Then guys, other concepts, as you can see, had almost equal weightage, uh, two questions from each of the chapter or one question in these chapters, like wave optics, electric charges and fields, mechanical properties, SHM waves, the topics that we are majorly, uh, we, which we majorly struggle in. Achha, Anik sir is here, guys, Anik sir is here. So Anik sir, we are right now discussing the physics part. I think you're going to start with it in a little while. Yes, so sir. The physics analysis, and then let's hear what we have uh, the analysis for chemistry also. So, guys, as I was saying, the major pain point every time is SHM chapter, waves chapter. Fortunately, weightage was very less. Just one question came. Then mechanical properties of solids, motion in a plane, electromagnetic induction. Again, a major pain point from grade twelfth. That weightage, its weightage was also less. At least in the Indian paper, we will see what happened in the Gulf paper also. And then interesting thing is no question was asked from thermal properties of matter, motion in straight line, and also atomic physics, zero questions asked from these three topics. And we're going to see how it turned out to be in the Gulf paper also, but this is what we see from India. Now let's move to the Gulf paper over here, guys, again, you can see current electricity again, four questions. We could see in the Indian attempt also, there were four questions from current electricity. In Gulf also, there were four questions. So definitely current electricity is a chapter that we should definitely focus on this year. Then again, just like that, four questions were there in uh, magnetic effects of electric current. Here, there are three questions. Again, a very high weightage. Again, high weightage of units and dimensions, electrostatic, but electric potential and capacitance, semiconductors. So I don't know why people are actually complaining about the difficulty level of the two papers were different, or maybe the ch ch uh, chapter wise distribution. It is the same. One difference I can find over here, here electromagnetic induction was having just one question. In this Gulf paper, there were three questions of electromagnetic induction, but that's it. Otherwise you'd see nuclear physics, ray optics, KTG, gravitation, all of them have almost the same weightage. Another difference that you would find is uh, atomic physics. In this paper guys, one question was asked from atomic physics. Although in India, atomic physics had no questions. Uh, we had no questions from atomic physics there. Otherwise, again, as I was saying, it is almost the same. Mechanical properties of solids, no question asked. Thermal properties of matter, again, zero questions asked. So I would strongly uh, disagree with the viewpoints of those who are saying the paper level was different. In fact, I said from the difficulty level, guys, it was the same. Difficulty of Indian paper and the Gulf paper was exactly the same. No doubt about that. Chapter wise distribution also is almost the same. 
and uh, now guys we can move to the key, main key points that we see from over here first of all maximum number of easy questions were asked from magnetic effects of electric current yeah you would say uh, that you said that maximum number of questions were there from current electricity yes but when we noticed we found out that there were some medium medium level and hard questions also from current electricity but if we talk about the last minute preparation or we are supposed to prioritize in our revision time uh, in like in the last 2 3 months of our preparation so then magnetic effects electro magnetic effects of electric current can be a topic we pick up because all three questions that were asked were actually easy level questions we can easily solve those three questions directly if we prepare this one chapter just the simple concepts okay but again i would remind this is just one uh, on the basis of just one paper we cannot decide how the next year's paper is going to be it is it can certainly give us a certain direction but it is not a guarantee guys we also every year try to find the uh, we try to analyze these papers try to guess what kind of questions will be there as you must have seen the uh, our previous webinar where we discussed questions of current electricity because we were expecting questions of color coding and galvanometer and all that stuff so those those questions actually came in this in these two papers so we also try to find out the pattern that works but it's not 100% sure shot guarantee but yes if we are supposed to choose we are going to choose the topic of magnetic effects of electric current for next year's preparation then guys second high num highest numbers of easy questions were asked from electromagnetic wave step em waves and this is basically in the indian paper as you can see in the indian paper guys uh, electromagnetic yeah electromagnetic waves chapter is mentioned over uh, here you can see two questions were asked but both of those two questions were so easy if you have just studied this chapter for one day you could actually crack these two questions so that is from that perspective just imagine people prepare for need two years months they spend in preparation but had you studied just electromagnetic waves on one day for one day we would have been able to crack these two questions two questions matter a lot guys is going to change your rank by thousands then the third point is mechanical properties of matter chapter this had three questions in gulf one question in india this is a major uh, difference between these two papers the mechanical properties of matter and guys one other topic that i talked about in the beginning units dimensions and errors we underestimate this topic a lot but actually what happened was this paper first of all easy questions were not asked medium level questions were asked and those two three questions were asked in each paper so most of us who start preparation those who have started their preparation those of you guys who are in grade 11th right now i am sure if you have done the preparation you have started with it in the month of april or may or june you must have already studied the chapter units and dimensions and errors but do not underestimate this topic it seems to be very much independent of other chapters but looking at this paper we can certainly say this was a chapter which you must have been serious about three questions mean a really a lot guys and we need to prepare for it very properly because medium level questions were asked not easy and then guys let me mention the chapters with low weightage but just giving a disclaimer it does not mean that if the weightage is low we are not going to prepare for it because two to three you can see over here i have mentioned five to six chapters five to six chapters if we do not prepare for straight forward we are losing five to six five to six questions and basically we are going to lose uh, 30 to 34 marks in the paper we cannot afford to do that so definitely we are going to prepare for these very very properly these chapters but yes if we are in the last minute of our preparation probably we can give a little bit lower attention to these chapters because guys uh, mechanical properties of matter one question were asked shm one question was asked waves one question was asked i am mentioning shm and waves because those who are in 11th you will find it out uh, by the end of the year and those who are in 12th you might already be able to relate shm and waves Uh, we always struggle with it comes by the end of the year we get exhausted although my suggestion is guys put the efforts right now uh, you have time a little bit right now if you have summer vacations going on revise these chapters put extra effort in studying waves shm because you will use them in a chapter later or also called wave optics which again had low weightage in this paper but it's not always the case wave optics generally has a good amount of weightage two questions are also asked sometimes so anyways from this paper mechanical properties of matter shm waves electric charges and fields the first chapter of grade 12th and wave optics these had a little bit lower weightage one or maximum two questions asked and 
as I mentioned earlier, also the chapter thermal properties of matter was completely untouched. There was no question from this, but it does not mean that we are not going to prepare for it. It's not like this is the this is the this is the basically the first time that no question were asked from thermal properties of matter. But last year also questions have been asked last last year also. But anyways, we see this is the overall gist that we are having. This was the chapter wise distribution, as we could see uh, for the Indian paper, and this is for the Gulf paper. And I would summarize it again at least for the physics part. Anik sir will tell you uh, what views he has for the chemistry part. But for physics guys, Gulf and Indian papers were almost the same. And over that you know those who are in Gulf would have a little bit advantage because they have uh, a uh, a dasa like the quota also reservation quota. So through that, even if the paper came out to be difficult, which I don't think in physics it is, then also you would have a little bit of advantage. So that was the analysis of physics. Now over to Yonik sir. Can you please tell us what your analysis of uh, chemistry part is? Yes, definitely, sir. So uh, is my voice also audible to all of you guys? First of all, guys, I can see it like you are not that active in the live chat. I do want to know what is your views on this paper. Definitely you have gone through it. And guys, these sessions are not only important for the uh, class 12 pursuing students. It is equally important for the class 11 students right now. Those who are preparing for medical as well. Because guys, you do understand, uh, like in the last session as well, Anjali ma'am has clearly told you that there is some trend going on, isn't it, in need? So there are different, different trends that goes on. And I just really admire the way of um you know if presenting that thing in front of you that the way anjali ma'am has done that so it is a trend going on isn't it sir so like there are more number of assertion real questions we can see over here isn't it sir this time in physics part i would say uh one question was actually asked assertion reasoning based uh mm -hmm. not as such in physics part this year and okay. match the column also match the following type of problems i think there was one to two problems uh, in I think in the Gulf paper there was just one problem in Indian paper there were two, but not in physics actually that pattern was there this time at least. Yeah, but it's clearly visible in bio and chemistry, sir. They are just moving on to more like assertion reason type questions. And uh, if you just talk to the students, I guess you have seen that the students are afraid of those assertion reason questions a bit, and that is where Neat is trying to catch them up. You know, in chemistry, I would I would like to show all of you guys there are a lot of assertion reason type of questions coming in there. And there was one more thing as, uh, I think uh, which is very much prominent in that in the chemistry as well as the bio papers, uh, where sir you'd be able to see that they are asking more and more questions, saying that which is the incorrect option. So rather than asking for the correct option, they're asking which is the incorrect option. So just, you know, they're just playing with the words over there. Other than that, the question papers were very simple for chemistry as well. So um, I would like to sh uh, share my analysis with you, all of you guys. So first of all, do share your views in the um, chat as well, in the live chat as well, right? So sir, I guess uh, screen sharing needed to be enabled. Yeah. So guys, uh, definitely like what Ishan sir has told you already, there is no such major difference between the Gulf paper and the Indian paper. So this is just a rumor which is going on out there. Like people are saying that the Gulf paper was difficult and the Indian paper was easy. But guys, I'll be showing you some questions. I'll be comparing both the papers with some questions. And it would be like, sir, you'd be able to see that. And all of you guys, you'd be able to see that. Like if I just pick up the similar topics from Indian paper and from the Gulf paper, you'd be able to see the difficulty level is just the same. There is no such basic difference between them. And not only that, um, this time a very important thing that I have noticed as well, um, in the JE paper and in the NEED paper, the weightage, the way they have shared the weightage in the JE paper, the NEED paper is also sharing the same kind of weightage. So they are asking the similar kind of questions in NEED as well, but definitely the NEED questions were a lot easier this time, but I feel like um, most of the students should get full marks in NEET as well. There was only one to two questions, those were a bit difficult, but other than that, most of the questions are very easy. And uh, that I would, that I tell you, all of you guys, that you know, you need to save some time from chemistry and bio. These are like, these are the questions, those are going to be easy. And that is what's happening in here as well. So, in the class, whatever we teach you, like in the physics, in the chemistry, you have been seen that you have seen that all the similar type of questions are coming in there as well. So in the exam, the similar kind of question that we teach you, the similar kind of question that we put in the exams, that is the exact kind of question that you see in the uh, neat exam as well. So let me tell you guys, whenever we make a paper, 
we use our all this analysis and then we make a paper so it is very important for all of you to give the test and uh, follow the all the type of questions that we teach you in the class so before we just skip to the uh, detailed analysis portions i would like to show you this is the thing that i feel like for chemistry as you can see 28 questions i'm talking about the indian paper right now i would be talking about the gulf paper as well so I feel like there were very, very easy questions. 28 questions like that were very easy. Now, definitely Ishan sir has also told all of you guys that when the question paper is easy, it's not a good news for you. It's rather a bad news, isn't it? So if you make one silly mistake, you know, you'll be thrown out of it. So you do have to understand, guys, in the next year when you'll be preparing for NEET, you have to make sure that you don't have to do things outside of NCRT. This is also people that think like, you know, the preparation for boards and preparation for NEET is completely different, which is completely wrong, which is being proven over and over again. So Ishan, sir, over here as well, you can see like all the questions, like most of the questions are coming from straightforward NCRT. So we don't need to, you know, go to uh, some different materials or anything like that. It's completely fine if we just focus on your NCRT here. Right, right. So 20, so it was there in physics also, exactly 29 questions were easy. And over here in 28, I am surprised how can it be even this close? Yes, uh, it is like, similarly, like we can see that in chemistry and physics, like uh, there is a proverb goes that the physics part is more difficult in need. So would you agree with this? Like this year's paper, was the physics part more difficult than the bio and the chemistry? What do you feel like that, sir? I, what I have actually heard from uh, the students, mm -hmm. they always think so, like, as always, they always find physics a little more difficult than chemistry and biology. Biology mm -hmm. seems to be easiest for them. Chemistry also they struggle with, I think, the physical chemistry part or organic. But in physics, yeah, again, the same thing was there. But as I said, it turned out to be a little easier than it usually is. But comparatively, I think, again, because physics includes just almost all questions are numerical, that is what I think they are struggling most with. So uh, in chemistry, uh, as you can see, guys, there are 28 questions where they're in the very easy level. It is not only easy, this is very easy level. Now, guys, uh, you have definitely seen in the webinar that I have taken just before the NEET exam was that I told I told you about the way you need to approach. So if you have approached in that way, I told you first when you get the paper, just check all the questions. Those are there. There would be some questions that you would be able to solve right away. Whenever when you see the question paper, you'd be able to solve right away. Let me tell you, these twenty eight questions are those questions. So you can see those questions and solve them right away. It won't take near about one minute. It won't take that much time as well. So this was very surprising, guys, and. Uh, um, you can save a lot of time uh, as this answer is uh, saying right now, like most of the people are very much afraid of physics. I do understand that, but guys, the way they have set the chemistry paper and the bio paper, you can save a lot of time from there and you can utilize the entire time in physics. So this is the strategy you have to apply from the next year on. This is why this analysis videos are so important. That is why we are doing this hard work to make this analysis. We, guys, we have to use this to make our own strategy for the next year. This is what we have to focus on. Right. So right now, while watching this analysis, guys, you have to just make your own strategy. What strategy are you going to follow in the next year as well? So now, as you can see, 28 questions are there, which is very, very easy level. And then if you can see there are 20 questions out there, those were in the medium level. And again, guys, if I talk about the medium level, so this medium level questions were also like made in such a way that you can solve it in one or 1.5 minutes, not more than that. So you can definitely save a lot of time from here. And apart from that, uh, NEET is giving you from this year onwards, they are giving you 20 minutes extra as well, isn't it? Three hours, 20 minutes. So this is definitely not going to be a problem for any of you to save time from there, right? Now you have surprisingly only two questions in the difficult level that I can put. But for the students, those who are doing good, as Ishan sir was saying, like that we have done a tremendous job in our uh, board's results as well. Like we have tons of students getting 99% and 98% in both in class 12 and in class 10. So guys, if you study properly, you'd ace in both of the exam. That is something you have to understand right now. So only two questions were difficult. And if you are uh, studying it properly, these first two questions were also not that difficult that you cannot solve. So these questions were, you know, average level that you can say. Now, if I talk about the Indian paper and the Gulf paper, like, as I said, there is a proof of going on right now that people are saying that the Gulf paper was more difficult than the Indian paper, isn't it? But that is actually not true. As you can see, the difficult question, I would tell you guys the level of difficulties, if I talk about that, this was near about same. Okay, overall difficulty was same. 
But I feel like there were three difficult questions in Gulf paper and there were two difficult questions in the Indian paper. And uh, I feel like the Gulf paper was much more conceptual. It was not difficult. It was conceptual. So the Indian paper is, uh, was just like, if you see it, you can just take it out right away. But for the Gulf paper, it's not going to be that simple. You, you cannot be just segregated that, that simply. I'm talking about the medium level questions, guys. I'm not talking about the easy questions. The easy questions are similar in both of the papers. The medium level questions that I'm talking about, they are going to take some of your times if you want to uh, solve the Gulf paper there. So guys, I would suggest all of you to write now to download both the papers. And if you want it, you would be getting it from our websites as well. And you need to analyze it on your own as well. Like which question paper was that you feel like was difficult. But because we have, you know, we are in this uh, platform for so long. So let me tell you guys, if you just analyze it properly, the paper difficulty was near about just the same. Yeah, some of the questions were there. As you can see over here in the Indian paper, 28 questions was straightforward, easy questions. But for the Gulf paper, there was 25 questions. Those I, I think like this is completely my analysis, but I feel like they were easy completely. Now, if you go for the moderate level question over here, this is 20 over here. This is 22. Now, this 22 question, this is where the people are much more, you know, concerned about like what type of questions are they like they are difficult and all again, guys, these moderate, moderate level questions that you can see in the Gulf paper that was not difficult. That was much more conceptual. So that is where the things are getting a bit here and there. But now let me tell you one more thing, guys. If the things are conceptual, people, the paper is not getting difficult. But the point is the things are going to be easier for you. Because again, I told you, if you just solve easy questions, what happens is, let's say you are preparing for the entire year and then you are solving a paper. So your expertise is much more higher than a student who is not even that much ready for the paper. But if the paper is easy now, the student who is not that much studious, that student and you, there will be no such difference in between yourselves. So guys, if the paper comes difficult, that is a good news for you, not this one. So this question paper was very, very simple. So if you make one mistake, there will be no difference between you and the guy that, uh, who hasn't studied at all. So that is something you have to understand, guys. So that was the major weightage that I can, that I feel like was there in the Indian paper and the world paper. Now come to the chapter wise weightage. So guys, you have watched the physics analysis, like which was completely in detailed way uh, Ishan sir has presented in front of you. And over there, if you have listened, it, uh, listened to it carefully, there were some chapters from where they are not asking any questions, isn't it? They're not putting any weightages on it. And this is exactly the opposite for chemistry. So guys, if you look into it, from each and every chapter, they're asking a question. So that tells you clearly that you cannot leave a chapter. Like majorly, you know, what they are doing is in CBSE, they have canceled a few chapters, isn't it, guys? So for that, those who are preparing for CBSE, they would be confident. They would be much more, you know, they, the chapters, those are there in CBSE, they would be controlled in there. But the point is the deleted posters, the deleted chapters, those are completely deleted from the CBSE. They are also carrying the equal count kind of weightages. So that is where, guys, there would be a big difference between the students, those who are only preparing for CBSE, and the students, those who are preparing for both CBSE and NEET. And that's why in Ask Items classroom programs, we don't teach them separately. We make sure that we are going through all the chapters because, guys, although you think in this way, okay, right now we'll be focusing on CBSE, later we'll be focusing on NEET. What happens is your test program, everything gets um, you know jumbled up. So don't have that mentality. If you are preparing for NEET, you are going to be very much focused on NEET only, right? So go through each and every chapter. Each and every chapter is, diff, uh, is important for you, okay? So as you can see, for the basic concept of chemistry, they are um, asking two questions in there. And again, we like uh, in the physics as well, unit and dimension, they are, we don't expect questions coming from there, right? But in the similar way, in chemistry as well, the basic concept of chemistry, I have told you in the class as well, this chapter is good. But you have to understand, direct question from this chapter is not expected because the chapter is easy. Okay, mathematical calculations are there. So the point is, we don't expect direct questions coming in from here. But the point is, what type of question do we expect then? So there are chapters in class 12, like solutions, like electrochemistry, where we need the concepts of this basic concept of chemistry chapter. So that is the difference. But here, guys, we have seen that there are straightforward two questions coming in. And let me tell you, that questions can be solved by a class nine student as well. 
So that is the difference. Like this is just a stoichiometry type questions they are asking you. Okay. Now, if you talk about the atomic structure from there as well, two questions are coming. So guys, the Bohr radius and the Bohr orbit, like uh, you have learned in the uh, classes, like the Bohr radius related questions, like exactly the type of questions I have taught you in the class, that type of questions are coming in the Bohr radius part over here. Now, then we are going into the periodic properties. In the periodic properties chapter, you know, guys, what type of questions are coming from there? So let me tell you, this is the repeated question that came in the Indian paper that I'm telling you. This is a repeated, repeated question. You just open up 2017 J paper. Over there, you'd be able to see the exact question. In need, they're asking you 119. What is the name of element having atomic number 119? This is the question they have asked you in need. In J, they have asked you what is the name of 109? Okay, so like un, nil, n, yum, that type of questions are coming. So like in very simple questions, but guys, you are not supposed to overlook them. So you have to go through each and every part of the NCRT. Okay, no need to follow the things like that. Uh, like you don't need to do the things which is not there in the NCRT. No extra things you have to go for it. Just make sure that you are learning the NCRT line by line. And guys, if possible, in between the lines as well, you have to understand it. All right now. As you go to the chemical bonding, guide from chemical bonding, our favorite portions, guys, in the class as well, I told you that there are some pocket regions of each and every chapter. And we have seen that both the questions are coming from those two pocket regions that we normally generally discuss in the class. So the molecular orbital theory and BACPR and the BACPR from there, you know, they asked you the question of lone pair, lone pair repulsion. Straightforward BACPR question. They asked you about the paramagnetism and diamagnetism of oxygen straightforward question from molecular or vital theory. Now, I told you guys that the Indian paper and the Gulf paper, you now if you just pick up the similar type of question, huh? if you just pick up the similar question, like in Gulf paper as well, there was an emotive question. And I'm going to show you that question. So if you just compare them, they are just a similar difficulty level question. Okay, so only the type of question was different, but there as well, they give you the same question about the bond strength. Okay, so who had better bond length or bond strength, something like that. Okay, this is the type of question we are seeing over here from chemical bonding. So guys, just focus on the pocket regions. BACPR, molecular orbital theory. Okay, coming to the next point, which is states of matter. Straightforward question, PV equals to NRT. From there, the questions are coming, guys. So PV equals to NRT, you just put the values. There, you need to find out pressure from there in the question. So that type of questions are coming. Similarly, in the Gulf paper as well. Guys, the level of the question is just the same in both the cases. Okay, I'll be showing you all the questions. I have the screenshots. So now coming to the thermodynamics, um, you know, the thermodynamic question that they are giving you, they're giving you a graph. In both the papers, they have similar type of questions. They're giving you the graph and they're asking you what is the work done. So the area under, area under the curve, just that concept is more than enough for you to understand this. So in thermodynamics, we expect a lot of difficult questions coming in, but guys, just straightforward area under the curve type of questions are coming there. And we would be having a separate webinar, I, like uh, Anjali Ma'am has told you yesterday as well. Guys, we would be having a separate webinar where we'd be solving all the questions. And not only solving all the questions, Ishan sir, and we would teach you, I would teach you and uh, Anjali Ma'am as well, we all would teach you how to solve the question in the easiest method. So guys, there are a lot of methods out there. And when you try to solve questions, you get to get, see that, like there are some questions those are taking two minutes or 1.5 minutes. But we are going to show you what type of, in which way if you solve the question, that would be taking the least amount of time. This is also an art, guys, that you have to learn. Other than solving the question, you have to learn that how to take least amount of time to solve a question. So make sure you watch that webinar as well. And uh, guys, while watching the webinar, if you feel like you want to ask me a question, you just send it in the live chat. I don't see many people writing anything in the chat so far. So guys, I guess you're understanding what I'm talking about. Make sure you are taking the notes as well. Okay, whatever the analysis we are showing, you need to take notes because you are the next people, those who are gonna give this exam. Class 12 batch, I'm saying. Class 11 batch, you have time. You have to learn from it. From each and every chapter, there are some particular zones from where we see the questions. It's not like a, it, we're gonna see the question from everywhere. There are zones. We have to just pick up those zones, right? Now, coming to the next point, which is the equilibrium. Now, equilibrium is a nightmare to most of the students, isn't it? Those who are going for any competitive exams. Now from equilibrium, the questions they're asking, like you'd be stunned if you look into it. Um, in the Indian paper, they're asking equilibrium questions from the, you know, 
just a uh, simple case be value related question the solubility product related question buffer solution related questions like you just push the henderson equation and you get the answer like they are giving you the salt concentration they are giving you the base concentration or acid concentration you just have to put the pka value is also given to you just put the henderson's equation and find the answer so this is going to be the type of the questions you are going to see from there in the buffer solution uh, class 12 students you you have seen that in the, the chemical equilibrium chapter the weightage is completely based on the lower part in the bottom part of the chapter where we are talking about the four formulas isn't it like the acid base uh, the acid dissociation formula buffer solution formula hydrolysis formula and the last one is the ksp value these are the four pocket regions i tell you in the class as well so those are the four pocket regions and from there only you are getting the questions so guys it's time you become smart now right you have to analyze everything and you need to focus on those portions of the chapter okay don't just look into the entire book yes definitely once you're done with this then you go through the line by line study and analysis of that but right now just focus on the chapters for the time being right or the pocket regions for the time being now moving on to the um next chapters as you can see so guys everywhere you can see there is some sort of weightage isn't it one question is coming from everywhere so from redox as well we see two questions coming in now the questions are just like the number of electron transferred there was one question coming in from the number of electrons like the manganate ion came in a four related question there was one question okay came in a four is a very hot topic when you are going through uh, redox chapter that type of questions are coming there and if you talk about hydrogen so uh, one more thing one more thing that i uh, forgot to tell you actually so you know there is one more type of questions that i have seen that in this year's paper and which is also a trend for j actually and they are like i feel like guys when you see the j paper and when you see the neat paper there you will be able to see a lot of similarities in the portions that they are putting pressure on so what you will be able to see is if you just go and see the j paper they have a tendency to give you club questions you won't be able to separate out from which chapter is it now in neat as well guys we have seen that there are lots of club question in the organic chemistry and in um, here the s block question that i'm talking about the hydrogen question i'm talking about this is also a club question of hydrogen as well as the p block so they are asking you about the hydride which um, the you know electron deficient hydride electron excess hydride that type of questions they are asking you there now apart from that the p block and the p block questions were also very simple related question related to the electronic configuration they are asking you questions doc questions it was all based on the acid base now um, guys in the classes i told you and um, everywhere you do know that the if you talk about the most weighted chapter for class 11 that is doc okay basic concept of organic chemistry right so from there we call it general organic chemistry and you know that this is the most important topic out there for class 11th and you see that there are three questions coming in straight forward three question coming in from doc and you just have to find out the acidity and the basis in those questions so and one more question was there for the iupac nomenclature as well guys so just have to find out the iupac nomenclature so these are the exact pocket region that we talk about then we have environmental chemistry two questions coming from there then hydrocarbon one question coming from there from the ozonolysis portions guys and then we have solution then we have electrochemistry solution question was also very very simple if you have seen it it was talking about the dalton's law partial pressure related question so very simple questions electrochemistry non stick question just one pocket region of electrochemistry they are asking questions from there right and then chemical kinetics the rate of the chemical reaction the exact thing that we expect that is the type of questions they are asking you so no need to worry about um, you know no need to look into the absurd questions those are out there just focus on the normal trend normal processes okay now solid state two questions surface chemistry one question solid state question was mostly uh, based on the density part okay the general call the related questions and uh, surface chemistry question was there this was about the schulz hardy rule guys very simple thing the flocculation uh, power that type of question isolation you like this is the thing i was uh, talking um, about at that time as well vishan sir like i said like there are so much similarities between je and ne that i can see right now so in je the exact similar type of question came from isolation of intermediates isolation of elements as well so they were giving yeah they were giving them the name of the ores and this was the yeah. master following type question You, they were giving you the name of the ore, and you have to find out which metal is uh, that ore is of. It's uh, exact similar kind of question we see in here. So, guys, I think you do understand when you see a JE paper that happens before you, so you go through that type of questions there. They are exactly following the same trend now. 
now we have p block class 12 means guys for from group 15 onwards we see questions uh, electronic configuration related questions coming from there as well there was one question from um, class 11 which is related to the structure of um, that bh uh, bh2 okay the same question you have seen everywhere in the mock test in ask and mock test you have solved that question tons of time and we always always tells you that these are the questions those are most important right so make sure that you are not skipping any of the tests guys this is like this is a life proof in front of you right now now then we have dnf block question and definitely guys those who are there in my in the those who were there in the class i have already talked about this question the dnf block question the electronic configuration of gadolinium that configuration i i have just told you right before the neat exam was that i told you that this for this type of question you may see it and that is the exact type of things that you can see over there as well now coordination chemistry two questions haloalkanes like i said aldehyde ketones alcohol phenolita so i'll be talking about this organic portion in detail by showing you the question papers guys okay so that was the overall analysis the chapter wise analysis now as you can see uh, this is the pie chart that you can see the uh, weighted part so you can see it is equally divided everywhere from each and every chapter so there is no chapter which is uh, which we can say sir that this is the most important chapter this is the least important chapter they are asking you to go through each and every chapter similar way only the last three chapter like the polymer chemistry and life most chapters they are giving one one question each. Other than that, it is equally divided that you can see over here. Now, this is the thing. This is the thing that I was talking about earlier. Assertion reason type question, guys. This is. Let me tell you, I am having this. Uh, from this analysis, I feel like next year there will be more assertion reason questions. See, from aldehyde ketones, the, there were three questions. All three of them were assertion ones. From carboxylic form and means there were two questions. One question was from the assertion reason. Alcohol phenol ether, two questions, one from assertion reason. P block, one question, one question was from assertion reason. Solid state, there were two questions, one question was assertion reason. So this is where you can make mistakes. This is why where they are going to test you guys. So practice more assertion reason type questions. Right. And again, guys, if you just go and give the test generator. Generated test in ask items, you'll be able to see we have already predicted that we give you a lot of assertion reason type of question in the test generator as well. Right. So definitely, guys, this is where you need to work a bit. Now, if you I was talking about you need to find out the incorrect option. And now, guys, what happens is, um, you know, this is the mistake we used to do sir, as well, isn't it? We used to find the correct answer and like whatever the answer is correct, we used to take on it and we used to come back. And this is the mistake that you guys would do as well. So, guys, questions won't be difficult. But don't get overexcited when you see the question paper. You have to keep your calm there, keep your cool there. Now, they are asking incorrect question. Now, see how many questions are there. From polymer, there was one question, and that question was from like incorrect option. That from group 13 as well, one question, one question is you have to find out the incorrect option. Kinetics, there were two questions. One question was you need to find out the incorrect option. And chemical uh, bonding as well. Okay, it's separated right now. The chemical bonding, it is also. What two questions out of two questions you have one question incorrect option so guys assert in a region incorrect option this is the general trend that we are gonna see in the next year for chemistry as well this is the prediction that i can tell you and guys you'll be able to see that this would happen the question papers are becoming easy but these type of question are nuisance isn't it they are difficult for all of us we feel like we can make mistakes there now practice these type of questions now on onwards okay guys now uh like i was saying the left side, whatever you can see, guys, these are the um, Gulf paper and the right side questions are from the Indian paper. OK, so as you can see in the right side, they're asking you this uh, basic concept of chemistry question in the left side. They're asking you this basic concept of chemistry question. Now, these type of questions are very much common and we have solved this question like those who are who are there in our uh, like foundation program as well. We have solved these questions there. OK, now. This is the similar type of question that you can see from the polymers, okay, like the e-capolactam and the matrix matching type question. And this is in the Indian paper that we see from the polymers. So these are also the similar type of question that you see. So um, there is no such like the myth that is going on that the question paper was difficult and different. That was completely wrong. And over here you can see that, guys. This is the question coming in the Gulf paper, and this is the question coming in the Indian paper. They are asking the similar kind of question from the electronic configuration. Okay, 
And here, the organic chemistry questions as well, if you go through it, this is the difficult question I feel like, which is there in the Indian paper. And this is the uh, question which I feel like, which is a bit in the harder side from the Gulf paper. And both of them are definitely in the equal level. I won't segregate them at all. And this is the molecular orbital theory type questions, guys. You can see in the both of the cases, they are taking the exact elements, like the oxygen and nitrogen, in here as well and in there as well. So, guys, don't ever think that the question paper difficulty level was different. It was just the same. So, that was the overall analysis from my answer. And I guess now we can talk about the papers from your side. Uh, so, uh, as my feedback also was for the paper, uh, for Indian side and the Gulf side, it was almost the same. But uh, guys, as you mentioned, like in physics, we saw that some chapters had a little higher weightage from some, for example, thermal property matter question did not even come. But <clears throat> as I've said earlier, also, this does not mean at all that we should not study those chapters because as Anixar also showed you in chemistry, equal distribution from all chapters. So we should definitely not rely on uh, this thing. Of course, right now is not the time to actually take actions on this analysis. The time will be when you'll be revising stuff, when you'll have to prioritize time, prioritize uh, the things. Right now, whatever you have, uh, whatever you uh, what like, you have all the time in eleventh also, twelfth also. Study each chapter as if that is the only chapter that is going to come in J uh, or read. Only then you will be able to give a hundred percent and ensure that this one question that is coming from that chapter you'll be able to solve. Because you know that boon boon se sagar banta hai. So just like that, if even if you have six seven chapters which are very uh, like not having high weightage, but if you strengthen them then it might even help you crack the NEET exam or probably whatever exam you're preparing for. So I think me and Anix are on the same page and uh, Anjali ma'am also exactly. guys, uh, mentioned it yesterday. In fact, uh, she mentioned that in biology, uh, Gulf paper turned out to be easier than, uh, like, than the Indian paper. So I think we should not rely on this and we should get over it now. Uh, everything was fine. And uh, let's see, let's hope uh, how your, like, let's see how your result turns out to be. But anyways, uh, those who are uh, in grade 12th or who are uh, in, who have moved to 11th from 10th, you guys know that your uh, results are out, grade 12th results are out. And I hope that everybody has performed really, really well. And uh, from Ask I 10th also, many students have performed really well. And let me even present uh, their uh, achievements, their scores, their marks. So guys, this is the result for the 12th board's exams. And as you can see, many of the students have got uh, more than 95% over here. And this is still counting. This is the results that we have by now. And till now itself, we have got 50, more than 53% students above 90% marks. So more than 53% of the students studying at Ask ITNs have already scored 90%. And uh, the top score you guys can already see is of Atharf, Atharf Tyagi. Uh, you can see him over here. So he has got 100% in physics, chemistry, and maths, and all the top five subjects. Pranshu has got 99.67%. With physics 100, maths 100, chemistry 99, exceptional scores these are. They were then, they were very good with the J results as well, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. So guys, that is what we want to present over here. These are the guys who have, most of these have appeared in J, maybe a couple of them in NEET, but you would find the same people's name in J stoppers also. In the first attempt that we had, so you can see again, Atharv, who has got 100 in all three, he has got 99.61 percentile in J main. Nihir, as you can see him, he had got a score of, uh, Nihir. Nihir has got 97.33 in votes. And again, he had got 99.32 in JEM. Pranchu Das Gupta, 99.3% and other students from uh, India, from UAE, you are from Saudi, Kuwait, Oman, Kuwait. So where are you from guys? Uh, it does not matter. Your preparation is online with Ask ITNs and here you can actually bank on to us and prepare for uh, JE also without having to compromise with your 12th board exam score also. So even if you're planning to study abroad, maybe you have plans of going to universities abroad, apply for SAT. So you would definitely need a very high board score. So even if you are preparing for it alongside school, uh, alongside the JE or NEET exam, it does not affect it a lot. You guys can see same people who are getting higher scores here, same people are the students who are getting higher scores in JE also. Okay, so I think that's it. If uh, Anixa, you have some points to uh, mention. No, it's you... completely fine, sir. I just uh, wish all the best to all the students who have given uh, the neat paper. And guys, hope uh, you have done very well. And definitely you would 
crack it that you have prepared throughout the year definitely you would crack it and uh, not only the j not only the knee student the j student they have a big uh blow as well coming in in the next week onwards so we yes, yes. they are uh, so best of luck to our j students as well guys okay thank you so very much guys all the best bye bye everyone bye